So it's Yellowstone meets Succession in this new reality show on Peacock. You're going to want to see this. It's so exciting. It's the McBee dynasty. I'm talking with the brother Stephen McBee, Jesse McBee. So tell us what the McBee dynasty is about. It really showcases our life on a farm and ranch. It's Yellowstone meets Succession, and it's all authentic and 100% real. This is our daily life, our daily battles, and we're just showcasing it to the world, along with all of the personal drama that we deal with in all of our relationships and everything else. Mm -hmm. And this brother, you guys have this competition that it seems like, okay, you're trying to compete to be the next, obviously, successor of the farm, take it over from your dad. Is that how, do you guys have that connection? Like, is it always this angst against each other or is it all just in good fun? Uh, I'd say it's a bit of both. Uh, we all have such different personalities that my dad's going to have to end up choosing one day, you know, who's going to take over the ranch and the ranch is going to go in a completely different direction on who he chooses um, due to our personalities. So it's something that we talk about every day, obviously, uh, mostly in good fun i'd say there's probably a little bit of you know seriousness and fighting uh to it but it, it's it's definitely uh mostly fun yeah and steven uh you've previously been on reality tv we learned in the first episode you were on joe millionaire where you met your don't want to call her your girlfriend yet uh what advice did you give to your brothers on being on reality tv now I just told them going into this, hey, lay it all out there. It, you know, there's no reason to put on a facade or be fake. Like, showcase the good and the bad. We understand that we're human. We're going to have times where we may make some regrettable decisions or say some things that we regret. But that's what we want to show America is the rawness, the realness of who we are as people and what we are as a farming and ranching operation. And what, uh, I'll direct this one back to Jesse. What's one common misconception you think people need to know about farming? Uh, I would say that uh, they don't think that, that farmers or ranchers actually care uh, about the animals. Um, I've seen a bunch of stuff on social media that uh, has been, you know, kind of hatred towards uh, farming and ranchers um, saying that we don't care about them. And I, it's honestly the complete opposite. We are passionate about the land, passionate about the animals, um, and that's why we're out there every day. Otherwise, we would not be, believe me. It's a, it's a tireless job. It's a seven-day-a-week almost feels like 24 hours a day uh, job and the only reason we're doing it is because we care so much about this land and preserving it um, and being able to to have it for future generations yeah and you guys also do so much work for the people that work with you it's not just the four brothers and your dad you have hundreds of employees and are giving these people living jobs and they seem to love to go to work every day what's it like being part of that we're so lucky and blessed to have the people that we have. I mean, we view them as family members, and most of them have been with us for over 10 years now. Uh, a lot of them, including Tessa, who you'll see on the show, is like a second mom to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was with us whenever we were barely able to walk, and now here we are as grown men, um, maybe not fully mature yet, but uh, you know, trying to figure out life, trying to run this business and, and the farm and ranch operation, and we're just so lucky to work with the people that we do every day. They get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and they've <laughs> stuck with us through it, so we couldn't appreciate them anymore. That's a good little Western tie in there, the good, bad, and the ugly. So what's, <laughs> what's a little tease you can give about these 10 episodes that are now streaming on Peacock? I would say get ready for love affairs, family drama, relationship problems, um, all of that on top of trying to run a you know 40,000 acre, 2,000 head of cattle uh, operation with car washes, the meat facility. There's, there's so much for everybody to get into. It's really a show for everybody out there. Yeah, if you think episode one was uh, drama filled, just wait. There's yeah. way more to come. <laughs> And however you want to watch it, you can watch it weekly on USA Network. You can binge it all at once on Peacock. People are going to love this show. Thank you both so much. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yep, yeah, thanks. We're cowboys in every sense of the word. Yes, run! It may look fun. Watch yourself. But it's chaos. I'm Steve McBee. I've spent the majority of my life building this farm and ranch acre by acre. One of the boys is going to have to take over the farm. I'm just not sure who that's going to be. Steven is driven, number one in his class. I'm trying to run a global business. This company would not run without me. Cole is a wild child. Do not try this at home, boys and girls. Braden's my baby brother. I grew up with my mom. I just wasn't quite as close with my dad. My brother Jesse's the pretty boy. I saw his hair flow. Uh, uh, I'm actually jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy. Do you think dad would trust you with taking over the farm? That ain't gonna happen over my dead body. Oh, you think you're the head of the table, huh? I am the head of the table, bud. Unless you wanna fight me for it.
This family in the drama. <laughs> Right now, we're $50 million in debt. Galena's our CFO, and she's been working to borrow $105 million. The success of this deal is in Galena's hands. You better be nice to Galena, because we need her for this. What's up, handsome? You want some coffee? They're gonna know my name. Everybody knows the McBees. you! We have so many enemies in this community. It's like the whole world's against you. You're giving my vehicle. Do you take care of your whore? I'm mad I'm not getting <laughs> late tonight. The pressure's relentless. One of you guys is gonna have to step up. Ooh. Look how you doing, Karen. Come on, Dina! We could lose everything. I think I'm speaking for all of us when I say we'd rather die than watch this place go down. Amen. We ain't losing this farm. They're gonna know my name.